Hi, this is just a very quick demo to show how you can pull or push tracks uh, forward or backwards in time related to each other. What we have on the screen in front of us are two tracks. There's a bass line on top and a drum part underneath. If I just solo the bass track and play it, it sounds perfectly in time to me. Now let's listen to the drums. That also sounds perfectly in time. When you play the two tracks together, so we'll just uh, play them both side by side. The bass line seems to be dragging behind ever so slightly. There's a, a lag in the way the bass is playing. This could just be that the instrumentalist was not playing in time, or it could just be that these two tracks aren't aligned properly. So what we can do in Cubase is we can move each of these tracks in relation to each other. So I'm just going to put a click track on, and once I put the click track on, I'm just going to play and see which of these instruments is actually playing in time with our click track. So it appears that the drums are playing in time with the click track, and you can see that on the screen. You can see that the, uh, the audio wave seems to follow very nicely to the beat but the bass seems to be lagging behind. What you could do here is you could click on the actual uh, audio part that's within your track, clicking on the command key, and you can drag it backwards and forwards millisecond by millisecond. That's one way of doing it. It's hit and miss, uh, and you'll have to do a lot of playing and zooming in to do that. The other option is to use over here on the inspector panel the track delay in milliseconds function, which is this third little thing here, the little clock with the arrows either side of it. I'm just going to make an assumption that this bass is forward, let's say by 100 milliseconds. So I just type in minus 100 into the box. Nothing changes on the screen. You'll see that the screen still shows the bass in the same place. But what the software is doing is pulling the bass back by a few milliseconds. So what we'll do is now play that and see how that sounds. Well, it's pulled it back a little bit, but not quite enough. So I'm going to try 200 milliseconds and play again. And now we've got our bass in time with our drums. So that's a really good way of just moving things in relation to each other. If I now put that bass back to zero, and on the drums track, push it forward by 200, so I can either press plus 200 or just type in 200, you'll now hear that those two tracks are in sync. But out of sync with the click, so now the click sounds like it's rushing ahead. So there we are, that's a very quick way if you've got two tracks that you need to synchronise up, or more tracks you need to synchronise up, you can use that time shift function just to drag music backwards and forwards until it's in alignment.